the mountains kind of sink down a little bit. And then in the, the spring and summer, they pop back up. That up and down motion caused by the rain and snow is nothing new. What is new is that seismologists are now learning that that up and down motion may be behind many of the hundreds of small earthquakes here in California. We're learning more about what could possibly make an earthquake nucleate by these, these small stress changes. And we're using the small earthquakes as kind of a, a, a laboratory. Chris Johnson is a grad student working at a lab at UC Berkeley. His latest research was published in Science Magazine. Using a GPS system, he and his team looked at over 3,500 earthquakes between 2006 and 2015. These fractions of an inch that the crust moves during the winter when we have the large storms, it's actually changing the stresses on the, the faults. What they found is that the San Andreas Fault sees an increase in small quakes in late summer as water load diminishes in the mountains. The fault lines along the Sierra Nevada see an escalation in late spring and early summer. What we're, we're finding is that these, these stress changes are just, they're just giving it that, that little bit of a, a push over the edge and makes these faults rupture earlier. The quakes may be small, but the findings may have a big impact on the future. It gives seismologists information about how faults rupture and what kind of environmental stresses trigger an earthquake. We're able to relate that to the stress changes uh, on these faults and then correlate that with the seismic activity. Seismologists are also looking at big earthquakes from several hundred years ago to see if this current research can help them better understand those events as well. In Sacramento, Ansar Hassan.